Hello everybody, this is Christy with Christy's Folk Confections and I am coming on today to show you a little video on some Sundays. And I'm thinking more for spring of course and I'm thinking more whimsical than realistic. And the last Sunday I made on here was um, with spackle which was a couple months ago. And some of you wanted to see it made with um, clay, so we're going to do that. And I just want to show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, we're going to be working with these today because my Sunday cups are coming from Amazon and they are not here yet. So I really wanted to use them, um, the clear Sunday cups. I have um, like the, the small size coming. I like the little um, mini sizes. And I only have shake glasses here right now, and I don't really want to do a shake. But I thought we could use these. I had these since last year, actually. These are from Hobby Lobby, and they were eleven ninety nine. If you can see, with the light, it's kind of glaring, but. Um, it's there were eleven ninety nine, and then I believe there are forty or fifty percent off. Um, I want to say the spring, last spring. Well, it says spring, but I think they have this stuff out like. If depending on if it sells, they'll have it out like throughout the year, you know, um, on sale. So, and it and it depends what aisle you're in. Um, obviously, it would be the, you know, the summer and the spring aisle. So. I think I'm going to do, I'm debating if I want to do the green or the purple. Everyone is cute. They come with a little spoon. I think I'll do the green one. So I have a couple different molds that I, that I normally use. And... I have actually a small, medium, and a large. I'll show you. So this is the one we're going to be working with today. Um, this is my smallest one, I believe. I want to say this is from Amazon. And this is the, my medium-sized one. And I want to say this is from Etsy. And I'll link these in the comments um, or the description. This for sure came from Etsy. This is huge. I want to say her name is Kim, but I'm not positive. But um, I got this about a year or so ago, and I just absolutely love it. It's, as you can see, it's humongous. And I use this a lot for um, my scoops, but obviously this would be too small, to, or I mean, this would be too big to put in here. So um, this might be okay, but it's still a little big. So I'm going to use this little one here. And you can make your scoops out of um, spackle like I showed you the last time. But I think today we're going to do the clay because I have all these pretty colors. And you guys have been asking um, for me to do a sundae in clay. So, But I am going to use a little bit of spackle just to put on the bottom of this and probably for my whip topping too. Um, I like to put this back on the bottom that, that way it has something to adhere to and to stick to. Let me quick take this off. Oh. All right, so I just have my uh, Red Devil one time spackle if you don't know what that is. It's lightweight spackle. And I have it right here. This is what it looks like. Red Devil One Time Lightweight Spackle. And this is my favorite brand. I get it. I lately have been getting it on Amazon. Um, I normally get it at um, uh, Menards. But they've been pretty expensive at Menards. And it's like 30 some dollars a gallon. So... It, lately, I the last couple times I got it on Amazon, it was like two for fifty, or 
one time I got it two for 47. It just depends on, on when you look. It's different all the time. So I filled it about just the bottom part with spackle. And I'm going to get my colors ready here. Take a little bit of each color out. And my uh, clay is from Glitz and Glue um, Air Foam, Air Dry Foam Clay. And she's on um, Etsy, and they are also on Amazon. But they are out of a lot of colors right now. And they will be restocking soon. I believe she's got more colors on Etsy than Amazon right now. So, um, but if you want to know, this one is the light purple that I'm using today. Light purple. And the green is light green. And then the pink. I honestly, I cannot even think of where I got this. Um, it might have been Play Code Three when they were selling their, when they were selling their clay. They don't carry it anymore. They were having a big sale. Um, obviously, I I have gotten it from Glitz and Glue too. I don't know if she's got pink available though, but it's it's really close to this color if she does. So there's different kinds of um, shades of pink, but this one is light yellow. So that's this one. But yeah, I still have, um, I still have brown, like a dark brown from Play Code 3 too. So I bought a whole bunch when they were um, selling out and going out of stock on it. And I think they had it like, I want to say like $7 a bag. So I got a bunch. So I'm just conditioning this up right now. And you can certainly use all one color. Um, I always like my pastels, so I'm going to use several. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little piece, roll it in a ball, Some are bigger than others, just doesn't have to be perfect or anything, but it'll give you some, um, some neat, um, swirls in your, in your scoop. Um, let's do yellow. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the table here. Okay, one more purple. Okay, so we're just going to start putting them in the, the mold here and just pressing them down. As you can see, it fills up rather fast <laughs> with this little one. Mm. So then what I do is I, I like to overfill it some because I don't want it just cut off at the, you know, at the bottom of the mold because um, I like to have a little bit extra so that I can stick it down in like with a toothpick or whatever I'm sticking it in. So I'm going to roll this clay in here just to get all the little details and all the lines in the clay. I 
Okay, and now we're just gonna release it and just lift up on the clay here. And this is why I put extra in because another reason is because it comes out like this and then you have something to hold on to <laughs> because sometimes it does get stuck in there. So there's, there's that, turned out pretty cute. And see, now we have all this extra on the bottom. You can either cut it off or you can use it like I am to, um, you know, you're gonna stick this part in the spackle. That way your spackle isn't coming up far and, you know, covering up all your, your ice cream. So just trying to see if there's a, there's a line in here. Yep, that's the back, okay. So I'm just gonna stick this in there. All right. And let's do, let's do some green on the bottom. And then we'll do purple, yellow, pink. Do some purple over here. Now, if your mold is sticky um, and your, or I should say your clay is sticky and it's sticking to the mold, um, what I do is you can do a couple things. You can put it in the freezer for a few minutes and it should pop out then. But of course, I'm very um, impatient. I don't usually like to do that, but that's what a lot of people do. Or I have a little container of cornstarch up here. And I will um, put a, just a real little bit of cornstarch in, in the mold. So this is how that one turned out. It looks good. Um, so here it is. I'll show you. I just have my cornstarch. I just take my um, paintbrush and I just dip it real lightly in there. I'll do it right now, in fact. Just, I mean, you don't want a lot, so I have like that much, because then you're gonna have your cornstarch is gonna be all over your your clay, and um, you know you don't want that, because it's gonna be a little bit hard to get that off. Then you could use a wipe, but um, just even this little bit helps a lot. Okay, so now. I'm going to just decide where I want this. So before I, I'm gonna put just a little bit more uh, spackle so that this has something to stick to. And then I'm also going to use a toothpick. Just trying to decide which way I want this. We don't want it, we want it a different color on this side, so. Okay, so I'm going to stick, whoops, that's not even a full toothpick. So I'm going to stick this in this one. And then we're going to stick this one in here. I don't know what is on here. Must have been in the mold that was like a little... leftover clay or something but it's probably going to be covered up okay so it's sticking in the um, spackle so it'll stick in there when that spackle gets hard it will you know it won't come out and then we're just making sure with another toothpick um, that it that it holds well so I'm just going to use this piece that I, that was on the bottom of that one I'm going to stick that in there, and then I'm going to take a yellow. And you don't even need to, like, if you don't want to be that precise and you want it more swirled, I'll do another one with just the swirl, where you could just, like, swirl it in there if you want to do that way. But since I have the other two scoops like this, I'm going to, I'm going to do it, finish it up with this method here. Okay. 
I'm just going to stick a little bit more on the bottom here. And just take your edges. You can also take a piece of clay and take it out like that. So, so that's how that turned out. And I'm just going to take this excess off. And then I'm going to put this in here, take a toothpick, and I'm going to find my good side. Hmm. Yeah, let's have the yellow right here. Also, a little bit more um, spackle would not hurt. Cute, huh? And um, what do I want on the bottom? Let's do pink on the bottom. Yellow. Mm, purple. Should be good. Oops. It's going to be very like springy and Easterish. I'm going to take a piece of clay. Take that excess off, it looks silly. Um, all right, I'm gonna take a toothpick. always use a little bit of glue um, you know if you if you're not sure if this is you know gonna hold you can always use a little bit of super glue but since my clay is really wet and I have the um, spackle underneath and then we're using the toothpick I think I think we'll be good And you don't want to press too hard because then you're gonna you're gonna lose your texture from your, um, you know, from your mold. Okay, so I'm just debating what I want to do here. I think because we're doing Easter. I am going to put a bunny butt right here. I'm going to leave my pink out. Yeah. I'm going to leave my pink out. I'm just debating what I want to do here. Or I could put another scoop there. I 
you know, to make it even, okay, I'm going to put the bunny butt here and then I'm going to put one more scoop here because then I can put the little bit of whipped cream and then the cherry on the top. So that's why I was debating what I want to do. If I have enough, you know, I want to even it out so it's not like um, everything's over on this side. I need to even this side out just a little bit. Um, so let me do one more scoop. I could either put the scoop here or the bunny butt here. But I think the bunny butt would look cute on the end there or like on the side. Piece of clay and cut that off. No, no, honey. No, no, get in. Mama's working. Get down. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here. No, no, Smokey. Get down. Get down. It's my kitten. He always has to be held. He thinks when I'm working up here, um, it's time for him to be held, and it is not. I'm just debating what to do here. Okay, I'm going to cut this down a little bit more. And then toothpick. And I am going to, let's see, let's go this way. I don't know. They all look good. Let's go here. This is going to be a big Sunday. my white. Um, I'm just looking at this. I'm just going to make some little pokes just because I have a, some a little bit flat from my fingers. And I have an old toothbrush <laughs> that I used to that I cannot find. Hmm. I can't find it now. <laughs> well, let's see what else can I use. I'm not sure where that is. God only knows. And some of this will be covered up with the cream, with the whipped cream too. Smokey, get down. Get down. Sorry about that. <laughs> he, just, he just jumps on top of me. <sighs> so I'm taking my white clay. This is too big.
Go play with brother. Where's your brother? Hmm? Okay, that looks good. And now we'll make the tail. A little too big. All right, so a little toothpick. And then taking my clay tool and using some, or putting in some little holes for the texture. Looks just like a bunny tail. And then I always lose my shape as I'm holding on to it. So that's what happens. And I and I try to do it lightly, but your fingertips always seem to make a little bit of an indentation there. Okay, so then two little circles we're going to do for the, or two little balls for the feet. Make sure they're about the same size. This one's a little too big. Okay, push down and then kind of almost like a teardrop. And then do this one. Make sure they're the same size. They look good. Take your tool, put your little marks in there. Okay, and then we need the little pads. There's a little yellow in this from from the the scoops. That's way too big. Okay, so then press them down into the foot. Okay, that's what they look like so far. And then just, you're gonna need six little balls for the little um, pads between the feet, or the pads between the little claws, I should say. Always put three on each one.
Okay, so that's what that looks like. Okay, so these can go on here. I am going to use a little toothpick because uh, my clay is starting to dry. I'm just reshaping it a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit more spackle so it has something to hold on to. I'm going to add a little bit more on this side too. And then a toothpick. Looks so funny. I missed a few spots here. Okay. All right, so now, um, let's see, let's get this out of the way. Now we're gonna make our little, um, Gallop on the top. Debating whether I should put a little bit right here. I think, I think I will. I just don't like that opening right there. There. Okay, that looks better. And there's one in the back here that's a little open. I must put a little bit there too. Yeah. Just filling up all the um, the empty area or the spaces. All right, so now I have a cherry. Um, yes, let's do the cherry. But I do not I do not want a red one. This is very small. Okay, I don't want one that small. Here's a cherry. All right, and I think I got these from Amazon. Sometimes I get them from uh, Michael's. Um, sometimes I've, I've gotten them from Hobby Lobby a while back. So because we don't want this red, I'm going to shut that bag. I'm going to cut 
cover it in pink clay because I do not want a red cherry. You can paint it too, but just to be um, for time purposes, I'll just roll this out. We don't need very much. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, um, let's do a super glue. I'm gonna try not to touch it. Because I have done that way too many times. Yes, yeah, so because we want it more whimsical, um, we are doing a pink one. And then I'm gonna dip it in some sprinkles. We have to have sprinkles. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth it out a little bit more. Okay, um, I'm going to get my, I think I'm going to use Mod Podge. Mm. I'm debating whether I want the whole thing. Yeah, let's do the whole thing. I was going to do half of it, but um, I think we're going to dip the whole thing in the sprinkles. Oh, now I marked it up with my nail. That's okay. It's going to be covered. But... I did want to see, you know, if there's anything showing. I wanted it to be pink and not red, you know. So. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, I don't want these. So I got my non pareils from, I want to say Play Code 3. I've had these for a while as well, so, um, but that's what they look like. So I'm pretty sure I got them there. If not, um, just search on Etsy um, nonpareils, fake nonpareils. And there are many sellers, I'm sure. And just push, pushing them in here. Sorry if that was on the camera. Oh, I always forget about that. And 
And then when everything dries, I will spray it with um, Mod Podge uh, sealer. And I will spray this too because then this will help in, you know, if you ship it or move it or whatever so your sprinkles don't fall off. I will spray this and the whole thing with my Mod Podge sealer. Okay. So this is my front. I'm debating which way I want this to go. Hmm. Yeah, probably this way. This way. <laughs> okay, here we go. It turned out pretty cute. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> so um, now we can put a few um, sprinkles throughout, you know, where I have the spackle. And I almost forgot about this, the spoon, but I don't think I want... You know, I don't want the spoon in there. Some people put it in there, like stick it halfway out. I mean, you could, like right here. But I think I would like it like to the side, you know, on the side or like next to it. And then I would put like some spackle in there and I'll show you how I do that. So let's put a little bit of sprinkles around the spackle. Um, and because it is drying, I already know it is not going to stick. And I think, so I'm using a little bit of water um, so that the sprinkles attach to it. But I also want to add a little bit of glitter, but I'm going to do the sprinkles first because if you add glitter, it's the sprinkles are not going to stick. So let me just get my plate here because they fall all over the place. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to use these same these same non -parels. A little bit more water. I think these are the perfect color for this. more here. There we go. And I'm going to add a little bit more spackle right here. It's not going to hurt anything and I want to make sure that that bunny butt is, you know, um, secured good on there. I just love the colors of these. So they have um, the other colors too, like the primary colors. Okay. So here are the primary colors. I have these as well. Um, there might be a little bit of pinks in there too, but um, you know, these are the primary colors mostly. And then these are my, um, the pastels. And I get these everywhere. It just, it never fails. All right, so I just have one little spot right here. As you can see, they are falling everywhere. I think we're good. Okay, and then the last but not least, well, no, not last. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter. I'm just not sure which kind I wanna use. Um, 
I'm thinking the pink. I think that's my go-to usually. So this is from Glitz and Glue, and I have spackle all over it. And this one is Ballerina, and it's the Extra Fine. And I use this all the time. Just gives it a little pink, you know, hue to it. Careful, I don't tip it too far over. So stinking cute. Can't stand it. <laughs> oh, I'm, you know what? Right here is the bothering me right here. So I'm going to put a little bit of spackle there. <laughs> I just want to make sure that it's secure. The scoops aren't going to go anywhere. And it just also, it just looked um, too empty there. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. Sprinkles, a little water. Um, that way... Even though this is the back, I just don't want any like empty spots showing. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get this out of here. Okay, so then just for the, um, the spoon, You can either do clay or the spackle. I think it's just going to be easier with spackle and look better. Yes. Okay. So I do want to put a little bit of glue on, or not glue. Well, it is glue. Mod Podge. Um, so that the spackle has something to stick to. cute is that um and then last but not least I keep saying last but not least and I keep adding um I want a bow I put a bow on if you know me you, you know I like my bows so let me grab you can either do a clay bow um, but I think I would like a ribbon here more right here, but I do have a big, um, mold, a bow mold, and you could also do that, but I do love the looks of ribbon and I got this at, of course, um, was this Dollar Tree? No, this was not Dollar Tree. Um... Walmart, maybe. Walmart, I believe. That does look like Walmart, right? Distributed. Yes, Walmart, it says on the back. It's for 98 cents. So, I love this color. And it has all these colors in there. <clears throat> I can get it open. I'm going to get my a piece of wire. Okay. I'm 
centimeter bowl. So I'm making two loops, but I'm gonna do four loops. So I'll just do another loop on this side. And then twist, you can twist it. And then do another loop here. wire fold up and then twist I don't like the way this is turning out here. I need to twist it closer to the ribbon. That's what was going on. It wasn't tight enough. All right. Get your loops out here. It's coming, guys. I know it's taking forever. Bear with me. Okay. done playing here. I'm just gonna cut this a little shorter than this one. So then you're gonna take your wire and you don't need this much. You want the wire in the back obviously. And then just for another precaution, I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on here. Probably wouldn't need it, but it does not hurt anything. And I wanna put it right in here in this area here. Push it in some. And there you go. How oh, cute, 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 cute. You can't handle it. So cute. Now, I have that wire showing there, so I'm just going to add, um, what do I want to add? I want to add a piece of candy or do I have a gummy bear? I do have a Do I want a green one? I made these with resin. So um, yes, these are these are made. I had leftover resin. I think I'd like the, the green one. I don't know. I want something pink and I don't think I have any pink. Um Hold on, guys. I got cabochons up the butt here. I could even do an M&M. Yeah, I'm from uh, what 
Who did I get this from? Andy's Treasures. I'm just going to put a little hot glue in there. I got to make sure it's on the right side. Okay. I mean, you could put almost anything in there. Like, I have, um, I have little cupcakes, all kinds of different candies could go in there. Just whatever you have, use it up. I could even put this little thing in there. But I do like the m and it goes with everything. It's a nice pink color. So here we are. That turned out super cute. I love it. All right, guys. I think that is it for me. Um, I was going to do... Oops, I forgot about this, too. <laughs> I was going to do another one with you guys but it's this was kind of a lot longer than I anticipated I would be <laughs> um so I will do another one on another time or with you guys um with more swirls and some other ideas and possibly more for summer and not for spring but I will put this in my shop and I'll probably add some more um some more of these to my shop because I think this is going to go fast. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, if you wouldn't mind to share or comment or like, I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to see if you make any, I would love to see your version of it and I hope you enjoyed it and have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.